system today was about technology and nature and what I did was a treasure hunt. So the participants had to create a book using the app Book Creator and they had to capture something alive, something dead, they had to add a video, they had to add an audio recording and also a representation of themselves. So that could be a photo or some took um, a photo of their shadows, some created with sticks an image of themselves, so it could be anything. So they had to put that into the book. And the reason I did that was, from my experience, children love treasure hunts. And also, <laughs> Book Creator is a great way to create a book on anything um, and use images and videos in that. And it's quite quick and easy to, to actually do. My research started when I did a Masters of Philosophy and I looked at activities with digital devices in a preschool setting and the children were capturing the data as well as myself. So I just put out iPads, computers, digital cameras and digital video cameras and let the children use them in any way they wanted um, and then I captured that data to see what they were doing. And my main finding was that the technologies actually encouraged social interaction which often people say devices are individual and quite solitary, but in actual fact, so social interactions were the main, the main thing. The other thing I found with my masters was that children became mentors for other children, so they were teaching each other, and I didn't have to be the teacher all the time. I then progressed that to a PhD, so then I looked at children's use of technologies in imaginative play. So both working technologies and also imaginative technologies where they pretend with the technologies. Well, I see technology as a tool, as a device um, that can be used in any way, any context. And I see um, technology as very valuable in nature. When I was teaching, we used to have bug catchers and we used to catch bugs and the children would watch the bugs, look at the bugs, poke the bugs, um, and eventually the bugs would die and that was sort of like the end. Whereas now with um, technology, we can record the bugs in their natural environment, we can um, watch them flying, moving, eating, whatever, and then watch that video over and over again and we're not actually destroying the bugs. So the technology can actually help um, preserve nature. So I see that as really good. And children are interested in technology, so why not use their interest in technology to get them out in nature, capturing things like you know, something that's dead, something that's alive, that was in the, the treasure hunt.